What's going on folks, it's your man Jay, and I'm back with another video. And um, a lot of you guys asked, yo Jay, why did you sell your T-Mobile version of the OnePlus 6T? Well, I paid full cost for that phone, and T-Mobile still offered me the credit, so you get the credits on your bill even if you don't have the phone. So that's a half off for the phone, so I decided to go ahead and just sell it and get the, the unlocked version. Now, um, I've had this for quite some time now. I just hadn't done a lot of videos on the OnePlus 6T because of all the hype behind all the other phones. But I actually do use this every day. Um, it is one of my daily drivers. So I sold the phone simply because I got it for half off. I got it for 290 bucks, And then also the updates. Now, I like stock Android. And so I felt like, you know what, if I'm going to do this, once I realized the clause that was in there for T-Mobile, um, you know, with the updates, I said I can't do it. So I decided to just get out while I could, and I sold that phone for I think 500 bucks or something like that. I don't even remember what I sold it for, uh, but I sold it for uh, at least 500 bucks, and um, I decided to take my chances and see if I could sell it. And I sold it for that amount, and then I got I immediately went in and I got the unlocked version. Uh, and you know, it's it's just a matter of. I just wanted to get the unlocked version because of updates and then I got the other phone for half off. So that's that. Now, how's the phone doing? Obviously the unlocked version uh, is is fire. I've been rocking my unlocked, I mean, I mean my unlocked, I've been rocking this generic OnePlus case that I bought a long time ago. Uh, I remember I bought this for like $5 or something like that, $4. So I've been using that. I have a clear case that I was using too, but gotta show off the Sophie Guard skin. Love this, love this skin, man. It is just boss. But ever since I dropped my Motorola, um, my Moto G7, uh, in the house, and I dropped this phone and cracked it, you know, because I don't wear cases around the house. I was like, man, I gotta start rocking, you know, some cases around the house. <laughs> so I put my put my case on, man. I, I pretty much got a case on all of my phones uh, now, uh, no, regardless. And then I also bought a nice case for my Sony joint, so you'll see a video on that separately. Really, really like this phone, man. You have no idea. I really like it. We'll get to that in another video. But the OnePlus 6T, man, I heard someone say, you know, hey, it's the OnePlus 6T. Um, there was kind of like this discussion about whether it was a budget phone or whatever. I don't know how this is even, a, um, or like a, let me see, a mid-range phone. Um, this is, to me, this isn't a mid-range device. This is a high-end device with an affordable price tag. That's the way I see it. You know, I see this as a high-end device with an affordable price tag. It is definitely worth 550. This is the six gig version. Um, with 128 gigs, the dual SIM. So I'm definitely really loving it. The experience is the same though. There was nothing wrong with the T-Mobile version as far as software. The T-Mobile version was actually the eight gig, 128. I didn't feel the need to get that after having it. I was like, you know what, 550, save myself a couple of dollars. The performance is gonna be just as good. And it really is, man. I, I, don't, I don't have any issues with performance on this thing at all. I'm totally happy with it. I really enjoy it, man. And that's just what it is. I love, I've been using the dual app setup like this. I really enjoyed the dual app setup. I wish more phones had um, had the uh, dual phone setup. Really, really, really like that, man. So this phone is the hotness, man. You know, there's the pixel right there. You can get it for for 200 off. I think uh, Verizon was selling the um, Pixel 2 XL for 399 full cost. I believe that was them. That's, that's a good deal, man, 399. It's a good deal. But this phone right here, man, um, I plan on keeping this. I don't plan on trading it in when the OnePlus 7 comes out. Uh, the OnePlus 7 uh, is supposed to have that pop-up camera. I'm totally fine with that, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't bother me at all uh, that it's probably gonna have that design because I've already experienced that design. Uh, and I think it's a really nice look. I gotta get me a tempered glass for this though. You know, that's about all I'm gonna do with it, man, and just keep it like this and rock out with it because I know it's gonna get all the software updates. It's gonna, it's just gonna flow right along, man. So, are you guys still, anybody out there still using um, the OnePlus uh, 6? I kinda wish I hadn't got rid of my red one. I sold it though. And I was like, man, I, you know, sometimes when you sell a phone, you kinda regret it. Uh, like my, my Vivo Next S, I can actually just grab another one of those. I just 
kind of was, you know, I had to get rid of it though, because it was just going to be sitting around for a couple of months while I reviewed other phones. And I thought, nah, I'm going to go ahead and sell it while I can still sell it. So I sold it. My, my Huawei Mate 20X, another one that I regret selling. But I just don't like to have too many phones sitting around. But this phone right here, uh, I mean, at those price tags, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's like $1,500 sitting around on my desk, along with all the other phones that are expensive sitting around. And right now, the only expensive phones I have are iPhones. The rest of the phones are pretty affordable because I sold my Note 9. I pretty much sold all the phones that were extremely expensive. They were extremely expensive, so I had to sell them and take a little bit of a loss. Uh, but, you know, oh, the Pixel is still here, but, you know, I think the Pixel is in a different category. It's, got, it's offering a lot. Uh, I like the Pixel 3 a lot. And Google sent me that one, so I didn't have to pay for that one. But I think if I would have purchased that one, I, I think I probably would still have it. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe I would have sold it, too. I don't know. Who knows? I can't really answer that question because, again, yeah. But other than that, man, the OnePlus is a phone that um, is affordable enough to where I'm comfortable enough. Why is this? Oh, I did a restore. Yeah, let's uninstall that. Um, and that was another thing about the T-Mobile the version. It had a lot of T-Mobile bloatware or T-Mobile things on there. Uh, and, you know, had, had to disable them, can't, in, can't uninstall them. So um, disabled them. But now I'm free of T-Mobile uh, things on there. Not that it's an issue, but, you know, I just want the option. And, you know, I got the uh, dual SIM version because, you know, the OnePlus is on the website. It's a dual SIM version. And I, I rocked two SIMs in here uh, this past weekend. And I needed it that way because I wanted to carry both two, two phone numbers. And I thought, you know what? I'm getting ready to just put them both in here. I've got a lot of dual SIM phones, uh, but you know, this phone is good, man. Uh, only place it's lacking really to me is, is video. Video is really not up to my standards. It does do 4K at 60 FPS, uh, but video, it, it could be better, man. You know, I, I've tried to use this phone in certain settings and it, it needs a lot of artificial light or it needs, um, sunlight for it to really be up to my standards and that's just me photos are fantastic i take a lot of photos with it you know what i'm saying so you know the night mode is not that great you know what i'm saying it's nothing new i think the pixel is the king of the night mode uh but you know overall man i'm impressed with this phone still and i think i'll probably stay impressed with it because you get a huge screen low price tag latest software the design is, is nice to me and I'm cool with it. I do kind of miss my headphone jack because I have some of the best headphones by one more that I've been using. And I got to use an adapter. I got the quad drivers and then I also have the um, triple drivers from one more. If you haven't seen that, uh, those videos, check those out. But you can hit the link in my description. You can grab a little discount. You know what I'm saying? So those, those headphones are totally boss. Uh, but, you know, I, I got to use an adapter with it. And it's cool and everything. You know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> keep my dongle on deck because <laughs> i really use those a lot but we shall see how that goes man um anyway the oneplus 6t definitely one of my favorite phones man i really um i'm glad i was able to sell the t-mobile version uh and just grab an unlocked version i'm okay with having a six gig model i've had the eight gig model and you know I honestly i can't tell the difference between the two at this point in the game so you know it's up to it's up to you to decide what you want but six gigs is more than enough and 550 bucks for what they're offering, man. I think it's a hot deal. It's your man, Jay. The OnePlus 6T is still here, man. It's flowing right along. No problems whatsoever. Blazing fast, even with six gigs. 550 is just a killer deal, man. You, you, if you don't have a OnePlus 6T by now, I can definitely recommend it over several phones out still. Uh, but there it is, man. Follow a video, OnePlus 6T, and why I bought the unlocked version and sold my T-Mobile version. I'm waiting on the OnePlus 7 now. Let's get it.